Team New Zealand helmsman Peter Burling has poured cold water over the idea they'll use two helmsmen in the America's Cup. Having a driver on each side of the boat is a strategy their opponents Luna Rossi use, and despite reports Team New Zealand have been trialling it in training, don't expect them to use the tactic in racing. Yeah, it's something that you know, we definitely sail our boat a very different way to, to how Luna Rossa does, and you know, it's something that is also very hard to change uh, late in the piece. So, you know, we're planning on carrying on sailing the exact same way we have for the last year. The best of 13 series will begin on Wednesday. Well, quite frankly, I don't care whether they have one helmet. Pukimai Anō, welcome back. The latest Level 3 lockdowns are putting people off travelling to Auckland for the America's Cup. The event has already been scaled back with borders closed to international tourists, but now Level 2 restrictions threaten it even further. Tom McRae reports. It was billed as the biggest event in the country this year, but 48 hours out from the start of the America's Cup, there's a sense of anti-climax about it. COVID has made sure of that. Well, it's obviously disappointing. You know, this was the time we were expecting to welcome the world and their wallets into the city, and we were hoping to be able to capitalise on a world-class event. Early expectations were that it could bring up to a billion dollars into the economy, but they'll be lucky to make a fraction of that. And the latest lockdowns have simply made things worse. Now Kiwis from outside Auckland aren't keen to join the party. The fact that Auckland's now had, you know, a, a continual period where we've had to go into lockdowns, it starts to create a perception in people's minds about potentially not wanting to come into Auckland. On top of that, Level 2 restrictions have played havoc with the event. 20,000 fans were meant to pack out the Cup Village. And to make sure crowds don't congregate at the best viewing points, the closest courses to shore can't be used. So course A off the East Coast Bays will likely be used this Wednesday, with Norwest winds around 15 knots forecast. It's just a shame, obviously, that we haven't been able to roll into a big, huge event. All the speculation is Team New Zealand will blow Luna Rossa out of the water. Great if you're a Kiwi fan, but racing could be over within just four days after four years of build-up. They look like they're very quick, like faster, another generation faster than the existing boats or the Challenger boats. Not that Team New Zealand's buying into any of that. And that's the exciting thing about this format of not really knowing until day one, so that's added to the buzz. And just for good measure, Sir Peter Blake's lucky red socks are back, a good omen on the water maybe, while off it, the event at this stage looks like it could be a bit of a washout. Tom McRae, News Hub. Well, Tom, the Italian newspapers have had something to say about Team New Zealand, have they? Yeah, well, they certainly have. Not just Team New Zealand, but Kiwi sailing fans in general. They've accused us of being arrogant and showing disrespect towards Luna Rossa. And that's basically because every expert commentator or pundit down here that you ask has all but written off the Italians, saying they've basically got no chance of winning the America's Cup. They've also accused us of belittling and undermining them and waging a campaign of banal psychological warfare. But, of course, this is exactly what you'd expect because it's the America's Cup. But it does do one thing. It wages, it puts more pressure on Team New Zealand to deliver when racing finally, finally begins on Wednesday. Tom McRae, live from Auckland's Viaduct. Thank you. Well, Two days out from the start of the America's Cup and Team New Zealand were nowhere to be seen today. In a surprise move, the defender chose to stay in the shed in the countdown to racing, denying Luna Rossa any last chance to spy on their opponents. But their skipper, Max Serena, might already know everything he needs to know. Tom McRae is here to tell us more. Tom, what sort of inside knowledge does Serena have on the Kiwis? Well, there's one man who knows pretty much everything that goes on inside Team New Zealand, and that's Max Serena. And he will be using every trick and little secret that he learned off his old mate and now nemesis, Grant Dalton. Max Serena knows what makes Team New Zealand tick. He lifted the old mug with them in Bermuda. They always uh, push in hard and uh, they never give anything. They always push in and never give up. It was an opportunity for, for Max to see how we operate as a team and, and how the culture is within Emirates Team New Zealand. They just hope it won't come back to haunt them. You know, he's very competitive. He's been pushing for many years to, to, to win the cup. 20 years, in fact. Fantastic start. Sedena first joined Luna Rossa in 2000, the last time the Italians raced for the America's Cup. Well done, Dean Parker. 
They got demolished 5-0 by Black Magic. Russell Coots again lifts the America's Cup. Since then, though, they've been Cup allies. Luna Rossa even loaned the Kiwis a test boat before the Cup in San Francisco. But it's a relationship that's turned sour, the Cup turning friends into fierce foes. There is a lot, uh, a lot on the table. It's not just uh, racing. There is ego, there is money, there is everything. And, uh, and we know if you take part of the Cup, you know you're going you're gonna to see that. So it's going to be all on. There's you know, no love lost between the teams and we'll, we'll battle it out on the water. Having got a taste of victory last month, Max Sedan is desperate to make history for Italy. All right, Tom, what's the plans for both teams tomorrow? Yeah, well, Max Sedana will uh, face off against Peter Burling first thing in the morning in a pre-match press conference before both teams head out on the water where they'll be out there with race marshals just to go through all the technical aspects, set up a bit of a race course to make sure all of the comms equipment is working as it should be. Now, it's expected that uh, course A will be used on Wednesday afternoon, There's a, which is the one off the East Coast Bays. Uh, a bit of a shifty conditions, which everyone here is saying will give uh, Luna Rossa a slight advantage, and they will need it if they are to lift the cup for the very first time. All right, Tom, thanks very much. The government